What up, YouTube? Is that a main mug or what? I'm using the best lip mask, the Nicole Guerrero lip mask. It's good stuff, man. I always start off with that before I start putting on the rest of my makeup. Next is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream by It Cosmetics. Just smoothing that over my eyes and make another lovely face for you. <laughs> hmm. That's real cute. <laughs> Next, I'll be following up with the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, and it dawns on me that I forgot to show them to you, so in a minute, I'll show them both to you. <laughs> Here we go. That's the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. And the Confidence in a Cream. I've bought these twice now. I really like it. I like it because it is easily applied also because it sinks in quickly and it doesn't seem to make any primers pill up on it or anything like that and it also doesn't end up making my face greasy through the day so all the way around I like it I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize for the lighting somehow in the middle of this video it gets kind of dark and I don't really know what changed other than maybe the daylight I was up at 4 30 in the morning before school getting ready for this so yeah See how dedicated I am to you guys? I get up at the crack of dawn to make a video for you. <laughs> All right, here's my three foundation cocktail. L'Oreal Infallible, Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and CoverGirl Outlast a Fabulous 3-in-1. And I just put a pump of each of those on the back of my hand, check my clock to make sure I'm not making myself late dealing with a little hair that just wouldn't go away <laughs> but I just go ahead and uh, dot that on the inside portion of my face here I'm using the Moto Prismatic large oval brush to just kind of smooth that around and just make kind of a base layer of the foundation makes quick work of it if you use one of these paddle brushes and then you can add product as needed afterwards but this is just kind of the the first layer <laughs> don't forget that neck Now I'm taking the Beauty Blender and just going over the areas that needed more coverage with more foundation. And then once those areas are covered, I just go ahead and bounce around all over my face just to sheer out everything and make sure everything has a really nice and smooth finish. I really do enjoy putting on foundations with a brush, but I always use a beauty blender to follow up because I feel like if I don't do that, I end up having a really cakey looking foundation. I think this really helps to eliminate that problem. Now we're on to the ever important color correcting step. I really like this Tarte CC color corrector. It has a really deep salmon color and it just really seems to counteract the, the blue and purplish colors that I have going on under my eyes, especially at 4.30 in the morning.
Here we go again with those very flattering and beautiful faces. <laughs> Next comes the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. As you can see, I already had it on. Forgot to show it to you, I guess, but I'm using my Real Techniques Mini Blender here just to smooth that in. Concentrating it on the inner part of my eye where it's the darkest. <laughs> I look like I could fall back asleep at any moment. <laughs> And to set that concealer, I will use my favorite Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is just such a finely milled, I don't know if it has magic crystals in it or what, <laughs> but I use my little blender to set the under eye with that and it's just the best combination that I've found. And to set the rest of my face, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and the Beauty Blender that I used to put my foundation on with. And I try not to get it on my clothes, but I always get it on my clothes. And then I take a big powder brush. This is just a no name that I had in a set somewhere. And I just go back into whatever's in the cap and just smooth it on all over just to make sure everything is set. Now that we've made my face all pale and flat, now we're gonna come back in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. We're gonna find those cheekbones and minimize the look of my forehead and make my nose look a little bit straighter and isn't it amazing what you can do with a little shadow on your face <laughs> not eyeshadow but you know contouring shadow oh yeah and don't forget about the the minimizing of the double triple quadruple chins <laughs> Oh, Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Mmm, yes. That is one of my favorite highlighters. It is just beautiful. If I'm going to choose a golden highlighter, this is going to be the one most times. I just put it on the high points of my face, right on my cheekbone, and kind of in a C formation over my eyebrow. I like to use this Morphe highlighting brush. Um, basically to place it. Tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, a little on the chin, more on the Cupid's bow. <laughs> I'm such a creature of habit and ritual. And then I like to come in with a fan brush. I think that's what's coming next. A fan brush? Are you gonna use the fan brush? There's the fan brush. Woo woo! <laughs> Anyways, this is a Morphe fan brush and I just like it because it's got a thousand bristles and it just kind of diffuses everything out. Uh, that's my happy joy face. Next we're gonna go in with the Balm Down Boy blush. As you can see this is one. Oh, am I gonna be late? <laughs> This is one that I've hit pan on because I use it quite often. This is a, like a no-nonsense cho choice for me. Whenever I don't know which one to use and can't make a decision, this is the one I usually go with. It's just a pretty pink. And it goes with everything. Then I just set everything with my e.l.f. Mist and Set Setting Spray. I like to do this as an in-betweener before I start any of the other work on my eyes or eyebrows. 
using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the anti-aging formula today for my eye, sh my eye shadow primer. Wow, could I get that out? <laughs> Primer Potion in general is a really good primer, but I like this one a lot because it adds moisture. More with the pretty faces. Now we're going to use a Wet n Wild Creme Brulee eyeshadow just to set the primer so it won't be so tacky. An easier base to blend upon when it comes to the eyeshadow. Got to get in here and give myself some eyebrows. So I'll be using the NYX Micro Brow Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. First, I'm gonna get what brow hair I do have, which is not very much, and kind of comb it into, into shape here. Now we start the building process. That hair is driving me insane. <laughs> On that brow, I have to basically create the entire tail. I'm all kinds of perfectionist with my eyebrows and then they're not perfect <laughs> It does take me a long time to do my eyebrows, but when I look at pictures of myself before I figured out how to do this, and I look like I don't have any brows, and I look blank, like my face has no color, I think I'd rather be an eyebrow perfectionist than a person with no eyebrows. Just saying. And here I'm going to apologize to you for the angle and the fact that I'm bent over. <laughs> But guys, on my very second charge on my simple human mirror that I got myself for Christmas or something, my birthday, it was for my birthday, um, my mom paid for half of it for me. But anyway, on the second time I went to charge it, it wouldn't charge. It would not connect. Here I'm going to set the cream product with the Brow Envy by Too Faced using an angled brush. But anyway, um, it's supposed to stay charged for like three weeks and it pretty much did. But when I plugged it in to charge the second time, it did not, it like wouldn't connect with the, with the charger. Um, it's supposed to have like this little light that lights up whenever it connects. Well, it didn't connect. So I had to pack that baby back up, send it back into oblivion, not knowing exactly where it was going to end up or that I would have any proof that I ever had it. But I did write to them and they said it is with one of their technicians right now and that this turnaround is like 72 hours. So I'm hoping to get an email from them soon saying that my repaired or my new mirror is on the way. I can't believe how spoiled I am on that mirror. I can't believe how long I spent with my neck craned over like that trying to see into a mirror that was too short and I actually have it on a block right now and I'm still craning my neck over like that so not my best video in history but 
I still wanted to post it for you. Now we're going to go in with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and this is just my final step to set everything. And it's obviously a gel so it keeps everything in place where things don't move around through the day. back with my baby the Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette guys I have used this so much I have to make myself pick up something else I just enjoy it that much so we're going in with silk cream and MFEO and the BH cosmetics blender just to get a transition color laid down here I absolutely love this and just for the record I've corrupted all my friends I bought one of these for my friend Becky um, just because I knew it would be really good for her. And then just the other day, my friend Dom Maurice ordered one for herself when they went back on sale. <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, I have corrupted all my friends into uh, makeup addiction. But I can't wait to show her how to use it. We're going in with Butter and Pooter. What a name, right? With the Morphe uh, M511, I believe. And this is just going in and concentrating on the upper part of the crease with a warmer and a little bit deeper color to give some dimension and depth here in the crease in the outer corner. At this point in the editing is when I noticed that everything around me looked really dark. And I don't think it started out that way. But I don't know, like I said. <laughs> Here's my, my official apology. But guys, I'm in a room with a really high light, number one. The, the light is way above me, which kind of casts a shadow. And I have a, a Vanity Girl mirror that has, the, I think, 12 big lighted bulbs. Um, if I turn them up all the way, I feel like I'm in a tanning bed. Uh, but if I turn them down too low, I can't see at all. And so I kind of have a difficult time finding a, a balance and I thought I kind of had it down. So it surprised me when I went to edit this that it looks so dark. So obviously I didn't have my light turned up very much, but looks like it got a little bit better here. So maybe I fixed it. I mean, going in with the Coastal Sense BRC N51 and the color Royalty. I really wanted to use that purple color in more of a capacity than just the lower line pop of color. I wanted to use it in the top part of the eye work. I did have a little bit of trouble building it up. I started off really um, subtly because I didn't know how much it was going to show up and so I really just started slow but as I saw that it wasn't showing up at all I started using more and when I got fed up there I grabbed a Morphe M433 and started using that and it did deposit color a little bit better for me there and I'm basically just placing it and kind of blending it along the way with little circular motions and I'm keeping it on the outside edge there on my outer corner not really pulling it into the crease much I don't know what was with the looking in and then looking up thing. Maybe <laughs> I couldn't see it unless I lifted my head or something. I don't know. I can't um, vouch for anything that I might be doing at 4.30 in the morning because I'm pretty much on autopilot. It's amazing I get myself dressed into work. And so now I've started my school year and I'm trying really hard to keep my videos coming to you consistently and obviously it's not as easy as it was before but before I started school I did do several videos that I already have uploaded and ready so that when I get really busy with school I'll have some 
that can be posted for you whenever I am not available to make them. I've got a tiny little crown brush detail and I'm gonna go in with the Enlighten and Beam, the two frosty highlight colors and I'm just gonna use that to brighten up the inner corner. These two colors are funny because it seems like they're not showing up at all, not showing up at all, and then all of a sudden, bam, there they are. For my lid color here, I'm going to use the shade Little Lady using my finger to put it on. This is a really pretty rose gold color. I'm drawn to those three pinks up in the, in the right hand corner, go figure but I think I'm gonna hit pan on those first. When I do, I think I'll be getting a second backup of this palette. I might go ahead and get one anyway. I always think I'm gonna run out and you know, even eyeshadows that I've hit pan on, I still have plenty of shadow, probably enough to last, last me the rest of my life. <sighs> Who knows why we do what we do. Now I'm gonna go in with the Coastal Sense BRC N51 and Little Lady again, just to make sure that all of the area of my inner corner of my eyelid, the inner third, make sure it's all covered. And to kind of go right directly onto the crease, which kind of opens up my eye when my eyes are open. Opens up my eye when my eyes are open. Hmm. Now I'm gonna use the Morphe Detail, or the little pencil brush, I think. It's one of the no names, but it's a pencil brush with royalty and I'm going to go in on my lower lash line and put that there and just kind of connect it with the royalty in the outer corner. I'm just surrounding my eyes with royalty. And then I'm going to go back into Little Lady with that same brush. I use the color switch and use that on the inner half of my lower lash line. And that meets right up with my inner corner highlight. It's kind of a pretty gradient with like a light white, a pink, and then a purple, all frosty. It's pretty. At this point, it's all coming together. Almost every eye look I do looks crazy for a while. And I think, oh my gosh, I'm going to go out looking like a crazy fool today. Someone's going to say, uh, you thought that looked good, <laughs> but it always comes together. And if I didn't say so, a lot of what I cut out in these videos is blending and I blend in between every step. I just use the previous brush to avoid these being 18 hours long. I cut out a lot of the blending process, but I blend in between every step. And I had actually intended to uh, put this on like a two times or a three times fast forward. But at the point that I started to record this narration, I realized that I had already put the music on and I was already recording the narration and hadn't done that. And so, yeah, am I just all over the place or what? This is what second graders do to my brain, you guys. <laughs> Seriously. All right, and we're gonna go in with the Lorac Pro 3 because I needed a brow bone highlight. And I'm using the shades Blanc and Canvas and I'm using a cleaned off BRC N51 again. Just to brighten up that area under my brow bone or under my eyebrow. Going in with the Tarte Eyelash Curler. Got a all those non-existent shorts sticking straight out lashes of mine to prepare for the falsies. I never thought this was a crucial step, but it absolutely is. I never realized till I don't do it. For eyeliner today, I'm using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. This is my favorite drugstore eyeliner. It's got a really nice fresh tip and that's just what I like. Felt tips and I just don't get along. I just posted today my winged eyeliner 101 so I will link that below if you need a more in-depth 
tutorial and tips and tricks for winged eyeliner. It is definitely a very picky and what's the word I'm looking for? Finicky process. It's like one little thing goes wrong and psh, all messed up. <laughs> Even somebody who thinks that they do it well, which I do most days, I still have my days, you guys, I promise you. I use lots of Q-tips, lots of Q-tips. Bet I was having a pretty good eyeliner day this day. It's pretty good when you can do it literally in your sleep, right? this point I'm just kind of perfecting filling in any spots that aren't black and smoothing out lines a little bit I try to leave well enough alone but I'm not that good at it <laughs> As you can see, I look back and forth, and if they're not exactly the same, back in I go, like a dummy. <laughs> I'm assuming that that means I messed up something. <laughs> Did I just jinx myself? Mascara work, um, bottom lashes here. I'm going to use Ribbon Lash Accelerator. It's my favorite. Can't seem to find one I like better so far, so I have tried a lot, but I keep going back to this one. It's my ride or die, as they call them. my top lashes the Revlon volume uh, plus length magnified this is actually a new one um, I've been trying and I actually kind of like it um, I use it even when I don't use lashes and it really does build length and volume it doesn't do anything spectacular but I do like it and I'm trying really hard lately not to open 15 mascaras at once and just kind of give one an honest try before I move on to the next. And on the days that I feel like something different, then I just go back to my Ride or Die mascaras, which are uh, Better Than Sex by Too Faced and Roller Lash by Benefit. Those are my favorites. I really do like the Lash Paradise uh, by L'Oreal, I think. Or Revlon. L'Oreal. <laughs> Anyways. I cannot get that stuff off for my life and I don't like to use any kind of um, makeup remover that has oil in it because it just leaves a yucky film on my eyeball 
Anyway, here we're gonna go in with these Christina Demi Wispies. Again, I find these on Amazon and the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I love these eyelashes, especially for work days because they're not real obvious, but it's enough to really make the eye look, look a lot prettier. I have a really hard time finding an angle uh, whenever I don't have my simple human mirror because I'm having to get way down into this to see. And yeah, hurry up people, bring my mirror back. <laughs> Hurry up. It spoiled me and, and then they took it away. But yeah, it has a five year warranty on it. So we'll see what happens if I get the repaired one or if I get a brand new one. But I will be doing the happy dance when it gets here, I promise you. For my lips today, Max Soar lip liner and Mer lipstick. <laughs> I do not know if that's Meher, Mer, Mer. It's whatever. It's a pretty color. How about that? <laughs> Just going around the outside exterior of my lip line and just making that nice and distinct. I think the older I get, the more indistinct my actual lip line in pigmentation shows. It's, it's weird, it's kind of fading away. I don't exactly love that, but luckily we can recreate it. And this is a beautiful color. I got these at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They had the MAC Duos for like 20 bucks, I think. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I really love this setting spray for hot summer days. In Oklahoma, we've had unusually cool weather in the 80s, so I've been loving that. But here's the final look, giving you an up close and personal. I really do like the way it turned out. The purple doesn't show vibrantly, but it's still there enough. It's pretty. And I was pretty fancy for school that day. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> Doing the happy dance. Blowing you kisses. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye, guys.